Today we're going to be talking about the Good Smile Company Nendoroid series, Sadako Yamamura from The Ring. Sadako is around the normal size for that of a standard Nendroid, save for maybe Kerbo over here. And when compared to other figures and things you may find around your collecting slash living space, it's pretty small. It might be off-putting to some, but when you see just how stacked to the gills with accessories these things are, it's it's totally worth it. The Ring franchise is a franchise that I hold very near and dear to my heart, around the same as Godzilla, not as high. Mostly because I really, really only severely enjoy Ring, Ring 2, and Ring Zero. Uh, Sadako 2019 was... Okay, the original sequel to the original ring, Spiral or Rasen, is... It follows the books, but eh. And every sequel to follow after that, which was on the Spiral timeline, can kind of be described as... schlocky at best. Up first here we have the box, and as you can see we've got Sadako up here, Sadako over here, Sadako over here. Oh hey look at that! Sadako's from Kadokawa! That means Gamera and Daimajin and Sadako are all technically studio siblings. Sadako versus Gamera, when's it gonna happen? On the side over here, we've got pictures of Sadako with some of her many accessories. Same on the other side. And on the back, we've got a little bit more of the same with some instructiones on changing. And some warnings and some... Alrighty, everybody, feast your eyes on cinema because that's pretty much it. Yeah, not too much to go off of. For the time being. For those not exactly hip to the Ring franchise or Sadako's look overall, this is pretty much all you really could have done. Ghost girl in a white robe and long hair in front of her face. She likely enjoys the sounds of death metal. And yeah, right off the bat, there's not too much to say. The hair looks good, the dress looks good, the limbs look like limbs, I guess. But thankfully, when it comes to Nendroids, by and large, they're usually quite outfitted with many accessories and Sadako is no exception. Up first we have the TV screen that Sadako is going to crawl out of. It's really only uh, useful on one side here. It's got a nice little stand. And yes, she can crawl out of it. More on that later. We've got an alternate hair piece, which for those who are familiar with this franchise will be for when we put her through the TV. We've got an alternate face, which it's kind of cute. Honestly, I mean, say for not having any pupils or anything like that. We've got the legendary well to which Sadako resides in, and the paint and detail on this is fairly, fairly simple, but very well done. I mean, it needs to look like a well. It looks like a well. Sadako plugs in right there. We've got a nice little videotape with Sadako's ballet recital on it and such. Very simple, standardized details going on here, but for what it is, it is quite nice. We've got yet another alternate hair piece which allows you to recreate the scene. And then we've got two alternate arms over here, a holding arm for the videotape, and an alternate sleeve over here to go with this holding arm. Got a spare joint that comes with all Nendroid releases. And of course we have the stand and the stand adapter for when Sadako wants to uh, crawl out of the TV. I know this was meant to be the paint and detail portions of the video, but as you saw there really wasn't much to go over. So paint and detail wise for what she does have, I'm going to give Sadako a solid star for both. It's really the accessories where this little release shines the most, so solid star in terms of accessories. Now let's, uh, let's change some parts, huh? Alrighty, so first off, I think I want to do the scene. Just going to pull Sadako's uh, hair off and boom, alternate face. Or a face overall. Yes, this is the other face that is packaged with this figure and it is specifically meant to recreate the scene. Yeah, nice paint on the mouth, nice application of the eyebrows and eyes and mouth. Let's just get this hair piece on and bam! The scene! The scene! I'm sorry, I just love that moment in the movie. It still freaks me out to this day. Alrighty, that's all well and done. Let's get Sadako well ready. Now, you can leave this hair piece on, or you can leave the other hair piece on. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to actually just switch it because I'm a ring purist. And we're going to take her head off, and we're going to replace her arms. Just like so, so we give her the uh, the crawling or lurching arms over here, and the next thing we're going to do is, yeah, rip her legs out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem I have with my copy. The joint likes to stay 
in really getting her in here is a bit of a pain in the butt, but thankfully it is not impossible. So let's just position the arms as we like them and let's get Sadako's head and boom, she's in the well. She's crawling out of the well. Simple enough to do, right? Yes, there is a little plug right here in which Sadako just kind of plugs into. The plug itself is easily removable from the well, just in case you want to take the figure out of the well without taking the plug out. But since my little joint piece in there doesn't like coming out, uh, she's a lot easier to get out of the well than maybe intended. But <clears throat> basically what I like to do is I like to display her in the well like so, with her hair parted like that, and with the this arm up a little bit higher. I think it looks creepier that way, and it's oddly adorable as well. So, yeah, that. Now it is time to TV crawl there, Sadako. So let's just eh, remove the plug, put her legs back in place. Although I'm pretty sure it really doesn't matter if you have her legs on or off. Remove this hairpiece and get this one on. Which is kind of funny if you look at her like this, because whoosh. So basically, you're going to have this one arm kind of like reaching back with this arm kind of reaching forward. And as simple as pie, that's all you really have to do. The little stand adapter piece really isn't necessary. As you can see, she can hold herself up just perfectly fine without it. Yeah, you could just do it. It really doesn't affect anything at all, really. So... Yeah, like the instructions show right here, I think it's just a support thing. I don't think it's exactly needed to get the look going, but yeah, there you go. I really do love that this option was included, but if you're going to display Sadako like this, don't really do it from a front on shot because it doesn't look as good. I actually think it looks a lot better from a side view or another side view. Overall, I kind of prefer the well, even though it's kind of a wide brickish donut. I think it just looks nicer. Plus, I am a little worried about the quality of this little insert right here. It's already starting to peel on the back and that makes me a little on the nervous side. Actually, in fact, I think it was supposed to peel off like that. Well, alrighty, there you go. Now to go over the last remaining few accessories. Let's just take Sadako's head off, full face, put the other one on, get this on there, boom. See, isn't she kind of cute like that? Just a little bit, kind of. Gonna take these arms off. Gonna grab the arm with a peg on the palm and just, yeah, attach that. In order to complete the look, you're going to want to take the left arm that Sadako came applied with outside of the box and just rip the hand and forearm off. And you're going to want to take this bonus included arm sleeve, which does indeed differ from the sleeve we just pulled the arm out of, and just shove the arm in there. These two sleeves actually allow the arms to look more like Sadako has her arms reaching out instead of just slumped in front of her. And we're just going to apply them like so. Stick that hairpiece back on. Whoops. And there you go. You've completed the look of Sadako holding out the VHS tape for you. Now the hair does very much get in the way, so you're not going to have this as high up as it could possibly go here, just because obviously hair stopping everything. But hey, it's another display option, and I think it looks pretty dang adorable. I'd have a hard time saying no to that, but I also kind of don't want to die, so... Sorry, no ballet recital for you, Sadako. Time for articulation. At the neck, you can look down that far and up about that far, which is pretty much just entirely canceled out once you get Sadako on her stand. Yeah. Every pair of arms will be able to go all the way around at the shoulders over here. I'm just using these arms first because they do have some added articulation at the bicep over here. Yeah, it's just a swivel. Nothing too crazy, but that means a lot for an android. You will, of course, be able to swivel all the way around at the forearms. Ugh over here. The legs will be able to kick forward and back on both sides, of course. And then we have the stand, which is specifically made for Sadako. As you can see, there are two hinge joints over here that will allow her to stand on the stand, but really not do too much. First up at the base, we have a swivel. Hinge back, hinge forward, hinge back, hinge forward, hinge back, hinge forward. Now, since Sadako has some really long hair, uh, the two hinge joints over here are more so made, so this part of the stand can go as far back as possible, and we can get Sadako on the stand, just like this. Yeah, per my own experiences, um, every Nendroid character that I've got uh, that has long hair, their stands really don't do them any favors, but at the end of the day, it keeps them in place. And as I said prior, I really 
don't use the stand often, as I'm much more partial to displaying her with the well. It just feels like a better representation of the character instead of it being on a stand. And, and yeah, I guess solid star in terms of articulation. It's there. Yeah, one day I'll get that damn leg joint out of there. I got it! But hey, for the most part, that's all I have to say on this. This is a very fun release for somebody like me and other Ring fans out there. And a release like this only gets the hopes ever stronger for a Kayako and Toshio Seki Nendroid release. Those are the two ghosts from Juwan or The Grudge, for those who don't know. And yeah, that's about going to wrap it up for this year review. Hope you all enjoyed. And when next we meet, um, I believe it's another Marmot Godzilla video. So rejoice, it's Big Lizard Fridays. Anyway, peace. <laughs>